Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel tips and of course gratitude, the most important one. Well, I'm going to talk today about journaling or journaling for self-improvements and why it is very helpful for each one of us. Journaling for self-improvements is the key to understand yourself and your personal reflections. Most of us had a hectic schedule from work, school, and other extra activities on a day-to-day -day basis. That is why self-management is very important. We tend to be so busy daily. There are so many things we need to do and places we need to be on. And it's also easy to forget what we've been doing from one day to the next. Our daily lifestyle is so very repetitive. The more it is repetitive, the more muscle memory takes place instead of our own brain memory. In short, it became a natural habit. I am sure a lot of you can agree with me, right? But what is really journaling for self-improvements and why? Well, it is more of like it could be either a good or, a, or a bad emotions that puts through into writing or through words. Or it could be something where you feel that something went really well or something didn't go so well. You could try and see how you can improve on the aspects of your day to make it better by journaling. Speaking of journaling, you might think that it's the same as a diary. Well, there's two differences, right? Differences of a diary and a journal. A diary I may say is a book to record events as they happen, in short, a record of your life. But what about a journal? It is a book used to explore ideas that takes place, shape, not only experiences but also thoughts, feelings and of course your own reflections. With journaling for self-improvements, you can get yourself back into motions. Taking notes on a day-to-day -day basis is very helpful and journaling will also let you uncover things that you yourself can work on. Taking from my own experience, journaling has helped me improve my life in both work, professional, and personal achievements. It does create mindfulness for many reasons by journaling or documenting my work, feedbacks, and mistakes. With this habit, I am giving my life a lot of value because I am always learning on how I can best improve in the long run. So it will also do the same thing as you. So here are the tips I can suggest when you want to start your own journal. Well, it doesn't have to be a daily journal. It can be on a journal on a timely manner where you feel to express your emotions through words. You always have to ask something, questions like this. What makes you excited about today? Think of happy thoughts of what has been happening the whole day. This will start your journal to start with more thoughts that's filling in into writing. And also this will allow you to think of the great things that you can think of and have done for the day. And second is, as part of our reflections, what drains you today? It can be something that drains you or push you from overthinking too much. Write it down. It can be a bullet point or it can just be something that what is coming up from your mind all through to writing. And how you can also improve. Think of it and how you can improve. And lastly, think of what have you done to learn about yourself today? Or what did you do to learn about yourself today? 
These sample questions will help you start your process through journaling. When I started journaling, I have learned so many things about mindfulness, the clarity of thoughts and feelings, dealing with emotions, mental health, knowing myself, I became a better writer, a good planner, and a problem solver. These are the key factors that I have achieved while journaling for self-improvements. So, I encourage you to try and start your journal process and listen to your inner self. In this way, you can actually learn from your mistakes and start filling in the gap. And thank you so much. If you've learned so much about this process, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you get all the episodes. If you want to learn more about other things on my channel, I do have one on how to store a prompt, which also can help you with your writing skills on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll put the description the link below. I can just put somewhere here. And thank you. And for those who are new here, thank you for tuning in. And for everyone, I'll see you again in my next episode. Bye for now, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. So high, trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down.